Inflation and interest rate hikes are among the hottest topics this year. In the United States, inflation reached a 40-year high of 7.9%, prompting the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates six times to keep up. When interest rates rise in this manner, the burden on businesses to raise funds rises, reducing investment and causing stock prices to fall. Interest rates on newly issued bonds are much higher, and existing bond prices are falling. In the real estate market, the burden of loan interest increases, dampening investment sentiment and causing prices to fall. Investors have no place to go and must find a new investment target in order to roll their money. In this video, I will discuss an investment that can make money even during periods of high inflation. Before we start, please click the subscribe and like buttons. What I'll be talking about are I-bonds. As stated in the video title, I-bonds are the best way to beat the crazy inflation. This is because the higher the inflation rate, the higher the interest rate. The interest rate that you get from I-bonds is directly correlated with inflation. Here's how to figure out your interest rate. As a result, if the inflation rate remains high or continues to rise, you will receive a higher interest rate. A detailed example of this calculation method will be discussed later. Looking at the above calculation, there are only two things to consider. Among them, the fixed rate remains constant while the bond is held, so we only need to consider it when purchasing the bond. When it comes to bonds, there is only one thing to consider. I bond fixed interest rates and inflation rates are adjusted twice a year, in May and November. As a result, we must consider that the bond's interest rate changes every six months. You only need to consider changes in the inflation rate if you already own I bonds. Anyone who has invested in bonds before may have a question here. Isn't there a possibility that the bond will default? Of course, even if someone guarantees the bonds, the possibility of default will not be completely 0%. I bonds, on the other hand, are very close to that 0%. This is because I bonds are issued and guaranteed directly by the United States government. This bond will only default if the U.S. government fails. Will the United States, the world's most trusted country, collapse overnight? That is why most investors, including myself, believe I bonds are risk-free. So, what are the current I bond interest rates? As I previously stated, it changed in November. Due to the high inflation rate, it paid a huge interest rate of 9.62% from May to October 2022. The calculation is as follows. The May fixed rate was 0%, and the semi-annual inflation rate was 4.81%. Furthermore, the fixed rate announced in November was 0.4%, and the semi-annual inflation rate was 3.24%. This is expressed as an expression. It's down nearly 3% from the previous time, but it's still a very attractive investment. It continues to have the highest rate of return among risk-free investments. As I stated in another video, even if you make money from investing, it is not a gain if the return is less than inflation. In this regard, I bonds may offer the best opportunity to hedge against inflation risks. However, just like all investments, I bonds have some restrictions. These are their keywords. I bonds have a maximum maturity of 30 years and a one-year minimum holding period for encashment. Interest is paid twice a year, but principal and interest can only be taken when the loan is terminated. You can cash in your I bond before 30 years. If you cash in the bond in less than five years, you lose the last three months of interest. For example, if you cash in the bond after 12 months, you get the first nine months of interest. Limit means the maximum amount you can invest. Investors can only buy up to $10,000 worth of I bonds per person per calendar year. The most notable aspect here is the loss of three months' interest. Because of the penalty, some investors advise us to consider whether we can hold these bonds for five years before investing in I bonds. Obviously, I bonds are not appropriate for those who wish to use them while receiving interest. But we must consider the other side. 
Let's look at three different scenarios. Number one, if you hold cash regardless of inflation. If you keep holding cash regardless of inflation, you are putting your money at risk. As I mentioned in another video, the purchasing power of your money will rapidly decline if inflation continues to rise as it has this year. The value of stagnant cash will approach that of scraps of paper. The worst case scenario would be to not invest at all. Number 2. If you cash out your I-bonds 12 months later in an environment where inflation rate is rising. Assume you purchased $10,000 in I-bonds in November 2021 and cashed them out in November of this year. In November 2021, the interest rate on I-bonds was 7.12%, and in May 2022, it was 9.62%. If you cash out as soon as November arrives, you will receive nine months interest and principal, excluding August, September, and October interest. The interest is about $600. Even if you don't get three months worth of interest, a 6% interest rate on risk-free assets is incredible, isn't it? Number three, if you cash out your I-bonds 12 months later in an environment where inflation rate is falling. Let's say you bought $10,000 in I-bonds on May 22 and cashed out in May 2023. The interest rate on I-bonds announced in May 2022 was 9.62%, and it was 6.89% in November 2022. When you cash out, you will receive 9 months interest and principal, excluding interest for the months of February, March, and April. The interest is about $650. It generates a higher profit than scenario 2. Here are my thoughts on the three scenarios. If the interest rate is currently high, you can make a significant profit even if the interest rate is later reduced or you give up three months worth of interest. Also, because a lower interest rate implies that inflation rate is low, it's critical that the purchasing power of my cash doesn't make much difference even if my income is low. As previously stated, the current interest rate on I-bonds is 6.89%. The opportunity to earn a huge yield of 9.62% was passed up, but I believe 6.89% is also a good rate. It's impossible to predict the future rate of inflation, but hopefully you'll be able to smile regardless of whether it's higher or lower. At last, I'll show you how to buy I-bonds. You can buy I-bonds through the Treasury Direct website. I'll leave the link in the video description. After accessing the site, let's open a new account first. Click the Open a new account button. It takes just three steps to open a Treasury Direct account. Click Apply now. Since we are individual members, we can proceed as we have checked. Click the Submit button. In this step, you will enter personal information such as your name, address, and account information. Take care not to misspell the email address here. It's not difficult, so please fill in the blanks one at a time. Scroll down to find a box that needs to be checked. Check it and then click the Submit button. Check the information you entered on the next page and, if it is correct, click Submit to finish setting up the new account. Then, let's try logging in. This screen will appear if you return to the Treasury Direct homepage and click the Login button. Click the Next button. You should have received an email from Treasury Direct if you entered your email address correctly during the sign-up process. If you open your email, you will see, your new account number is. Copy this number, paste it here, and click the submit button. If you proceed to the next screen, you will see a message requesting that you enter your OTP. Similarly, copy and paste the OTP from the newly received email and click the submit button. After that, if you enter a password on the following screen, the process is complete until you log in. So, let's buy I-bonds. Return to the home page and click Savings Bonds from the menu. And click Buy a Bond. Select Series I Savings Bonds, enter the amount and schedule, and then click Submit.
It's done. Opening a new account is a little complicated, but making purchases is a piece of cake. In this video, we learned about I-bonds, the best way to hedge inflation. If you found this video beneficial, please subscribe and like it. Also, don't forget to set notifications so you don't miss another informative video. I hope to see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.